So, you want a phone? Why don't you home? Then you'll BET. We're just gonna pretend like that intro was also normal. Hey guys, welcome back to by Kai. I'm Kai, and today we are back in GIMP once again. Uh, taking a look at a phone screen design. Now, I wanted to do this because they're really fun to make. I've done it a couple of times, um, and it's a lot of fun. So, when you get started, I have a canvas. We'll go over and open up a new one, new canvas, and the canvas in, in inches. Is, uh, it's kind of strange. You can look up actual phone resolutions. You can do that, but I didn't for this. Um, the height is 5.940, and the width is 3.117. So, and that's in inches and pixels. It's 1,782 in height, and then 935 in width. We're going to okay that. Open up a new one, whatever. Uh, but now, this is kind of small. It's not even a thousand pixels uh, side, side to side. So what I'm going to do is because I like to work in high resolution just in case I want to do something bigger and better with it later on, um, I also want to I, I wanna scale it up. So we're going to go to image, scale image. And this works in any photo manipulation program. It doesn't have to just be GIMP. You can use Photoshop or whatever else. It all works pretty much the same, just looks different. So we're going to go ahead and with this, make sure this little, this little lock is on. Make sure this resolution also says 300, by the way. Uh, I'm going to change the height to perhaps let's go something kind of big because I want the width to be at least maybe three, not almost three, almost 3,000, but we'll do 4,000 and then we'll just click and that should change it, change the width. So we're going to work in 4,000, um, 2,000 by 8,000, which is 2,000 by 4,000, which is kind of big, but that's fine for its scale. Um, and you can see how much of a difference it is. Look at the difference. That's, that's the default one that we just scaled it up that much. So now we're working with big boy sizes. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and hit this little new layer button, add in a new layer right there. Boom. Um, and I want to use the background layer real quick, and I'm going to go ahead and just make a nice little gradient background. I was going to use like a galaxy background or like a, a beach or something like that, but we'll, we'll make our own. So I think what I want to do is I'm just going to come up with some colors. This is going to kind of be like a little bit of a processy type video because anything with art, you know how it goes. Um, I'm just going to switch the color over here, grab this black color and change this to something that doesn't really go with blue, That this dark blue, maybe something like a a tealish that's not gonna look good maybe i just maybe just go with more softer colors huh that's not gonna look good let's just go with a slightish purple like that maybe something like that maybe a little darker like that yeah i'm looking over here looking trying to get to see if it's clashing too much because if it's clashing too much i don't want to use it. like if, if it's like that it doesn't look good um that didn't look good either because it looks too close the values are too similar so maybe a little more purple something like that is probably fine um, we'll go ahead and hit OK on that. Now, I'm going to grab this gradient tool, and I'm going to go ahead and just scroll. Should I go up or down? Let's go Let's go down. Like, like that. Like that. So we'll just go down. We'll drag from the top diagonally down. Maybe pull that one off to the side a little bit. This one up a little bit as well. So now we have this nice little gradient here. I'm going to hit Enter to confirm that. I'm going to hit New Layer once again, add another layer in there. And then I'm going to take this little uh, this little path tool, click once right here. And then click once right here and then just drag so we have this nice little curve, which is what I like. That's what I like. That's what I like by Bruno Mars. Um, we're going to go ahead and just make sure that's nice the way that I want it to be. You can hit con you can hit uh, shift and click one of the, the points to separate them and then uh, just move them around singularly. Move these anchors around to get it how you want it, just like Bruno Mars. Um, then I'm going to go ahead and just wrap this around. Hold down control and hit enter. Hold down control to, to uh, loop that back to the next point. Then hit enter to create the actual selection. Now, the fun part. Um, we can do this a couple of ways. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and, and select the paintbrush tool and grab a really soft brush. The softest brush that we have here, which is hardness point, you know, hardness 0, 2, 5. Then bump the size way up, something crazy, like almost 3,000. Um, actually, maybe even higher 6,000 yeah 6,000 then we're gonna just like right off the, I don't want to go in the center but right about here so just the edge is kind of touching like that we'll kind of just pop in a little bit of that color a little bit of that color but now I'm putting the that purple and that looks pretty good but I kind of wanted to use white but hmm, that looks kind of good let's do let's do this let's use white instead because I forgot I was on that color so we're gonna go back to black and white by hitting this little button um actually you know what I'm sorry wait no let's let's do this let's do this like this yeah let's just do that I was, I was scared because I thought I lost these colors, but I can always go back to the palette. That's a good thing. That's the good thing about GIMP. You got these little palette here, so you can go back to these colors anytime you want to. So, uh, back to the back to business. All right. White color. We're going to take a white color and then the same thing we just did, but instead in white. Now, we'll do something like that. Maybe um, we'll make this a little more conglomerated in the center here, a little brighter in the centers. 
There we go. Maybe not that bright. Control Z is your friend. Select none. There we go. And now this is too harsh, obviously. So we're going to put this on overlay. And I don't want it to be white anyway. Um, or, no, we're going to put that. Not, maybe not on overlay. We'll do. And eh, we'll do soft light, maybe. It's not really melding that well because this color doesn't have much saturation in it. So let's go ahead and just actually. Let's do this. Let's, let's add some color to it. I wasn't expecting to have to do this. This is kind of strange right now. It's not working the way I wanted it to. Um, the white, that white should be, that, w that white should be fading more into that. That's kind of strange. Hmm. Let's well, see. Now you see a little bit up there. It's getting a little, little whiter, but that's fine. All right. So we'll just do this instead. I don't want that to be white. So we'll just go to colorize lightness. We'll turn the lightness down a little bit. Um, and then we'll just make this a nice little, nice little purpley color. Turn that lightness up, saturation down. Something maybe along the lines of this. It looks pretty nice. Maybe a little less purple, a little more blue. Something like that. And then it looks good. All right. I don't want to spend too much time on this. Duplicate that layer. And we'll just hold down Shift and Control and move it down. Get like a layered effect here. And then we'll duplicate one more time. Do the same exact thing. Move it down a little bit. There we go. Loving it. Ba da ba ba ba. All right. Um, so that was pretty good. I like that. Now, moving forward, I want to go ahead and select this top layer, which is a blank layer still because we never used it. I want to go ahead and, and uh, grab this little rectangle tool and zoom on in here. We'll go up to the top right-hand corner. I want to make a little battery icon. So we'll do this uh, really cool. So we'll drag open a little, little rectangle, right? And then we'll go ahead and just uh, use the fill tool, fill that with solid white, right? Then go to select, shrink, and then we'll do maybe 10. Yeah, 10. Ah, 5. 10 is too much. We'll do shrink. Five, okay, delete. Now we got that. I'm gonna do it one more time. So shrink, five, and then we'll go ahead and fill this in, right? And I think you know where we're going here. I'm gonna go ahead and, and go select none, and then I'll go ahead and grab, grab the rectangle tool again, and then just cut back as much as I want this to be gone, the battery icon to be gone. And I kind of want to do a slanted, so instead of using the rectangle tool, we'll use the lasso tool. Click once about there, hold down control so it snaps to an angle, and then we'll go maybe about right there instead of straight. This is, we'll go over here. Next angle over, uh, and then we'll just uh, grab all of this right here, enter, delete. Now we have a nice little battery icon, which looks pretty swankalicious, you know. And I kind of want to round these edges, which is kind of strange for me because I like sharp corners. So I'll go ahead and use the rectangle tool once again. I'll kind of try and select all of these pixels here in the box. So I missed, I messed up over here. So we'll just drag that over until it's right. Um, and now everything is lined up with the box. I'll turn on rounded corners and turn the radius from 5 to maybe 3. And then hit enter, um, like that. There we go. Hit enter, and then uh, select, invert, delete. Now the corners are slightly rounded. Looks a little better than that. All right, cool. Just very subtle effects here. We'll go layer, crop to content. So now we can move this around easier instead of having to move the whole layer like that. Much more laggy. Crop the content, and then we'll put it over here, right in the corner. And I do want to have a padding, so we'll go ahead and grab... From the right hand side, we'll grab a uh, from left hand side. Sorry, we'll grab a guide and we'll put that guide right there on the edge. We'll grab a guide from the top, put that right there on the top, um, and now we have a guide right there, and right there. But I also want one on the other sides too, so we'll put one over here. Drag from the ruler, and then put that right there, and then same thing down here. Grab from the top, grab from the grab. The, there we go. Grab from the top and put it down here. So now we got rulers on all sides here. I'm also gonna go ahead and go to. Uh, Another layer. So we'll go to the background there layer, then hit new layer, okay, and then we'll grab the fuzzy select tool, click once, right. So it selects the whole canvas, and then select shrink, and I'll do by maybe fifty, maybe fifty. Yep, fifty looks good. And this is going to be our kind of guideline for where to keep things with inside of. So I want a, a padding around here, all of here. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, add rulers to this as well. So. Um, I want to fill this in so we don't lose that selection. So we'll fill them with white. Then we'll go to the move tool and then drag rulers in from all of these sides as well. So now we have a bunch of rulers all over the place, which is going to help us line some stuff up because that's important when you're making important things, you know. Make sure that's in the right place. Hold down shift to grab um, to grab rulers, by the way. If you can't grab them once you put them down, you got to hold down shift so they turn red. 